Are you thinking about moving to Bernie, Texas? Well, let me tell you some reasons why you shouldn't move to Bernie. Hey everyone, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome to another episode of Serving San Antonio. Today I decided I needed to pull myself back from a previous video that I did on the pros and cons of living in Bernie. And at the very end of the video, I said, I don't see any other cons to living in Bernie. Now, since that video, I've come up with a few and I needed to share them with you. The first reason you shouldn't move to San Antonio is there's no Chick-fil-A and there's no McDonald's. No, God, please, no, no! That might sound minor to you, maybe you don't eat there, but that's all my kids wanna eat when I'm on the road. So, when we leave a sports event, and I need to feed them at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. I need a Chick-fil-A or a McDonald's. What they do have though, Bush's Chicken, Kane's Chicken, Burger King, Wendy's, who knew those were still even open, Subway, I think there's a Taco Bell, I think. Oh wait, but there is a What's a Burger. So I do have that place, but it's a little bit out of my way to get to, so it's not very convenient. Bottom line is, there's no Chick-fil-A and there's no McDonald's. The next one can be applied to San Antonio, Bernie, anywhere around this area. However, I notice it more when I'm in Bernie because it's closer to the hill country. The wind. The wind is awful. In the summertime, I want the wind, I welcome the wind, but it doesn't seem to be windy in the summer. But you get a beautiful 50, 60 degree day, you're like, yes, I can wear my sweatshirt. And then the wind blows and forget it, you want your heavy coat. And it blows all my stuff in my yard everywhere. My plants fall over, they're always on the ground. So I'm just saying that there's reasons why I think that wind should be part of the reasons why you shouldn't move to burn. I'm gonna go back a little bit on the food. Um, there's like nowhere to eat. And I say this to my husband and he's like, what do you mean there's places to eat? I'm like. I know, but you have a lot of fast food, but there's no like real chain restaurants. There's a Chili's, there is a Chili's, but that's about it. But there's nowhere to really take your children. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so I went out to dinner with some friends one night. It was a girls' night. We had dinner at this restaurant and at about 9.30, we were like, all right, where are we going next? Nowhere, we couldn't go anywhere because Bernie closes at 10, so if you plan to stay out past 10 o'clock, there's only one place that you can go to, and that's very recent within the last year. Free Roam Brewery is open until I believe midnight or one o'clock. So if you wanna go still hang out with your group of friends or your family, go over to Free Roam, grab a beer. They might still have the food trucks open out in the back. So you plan on going anywhere else, you're gonna have to start at five o'clock so you can get through dinner and at least make it to another place. Okay. And the last thing that I have to say about Bernie, because gets my heart palpitations going, is, is these, these kids, kids are never, never in school. school. I kid you not, they're always out. For example, the other day, it was spring break or something, and my, I said I needed to go pack lunch, and my son says, we don't have school tomorrow. And I argued with my seven-year-old about whether or not they had school, and he said spring break starts on Friday. I challenged him and I went and looked at the calendar and I'll be darned if he was right. They did not have school on that Friday. So there went my day. On top of that, if you like having a winter break, well, then Bernie's a school for you because you get three weeks off, yay parents. Otherwise, normal schools like the Northside schools in San Antonio, they only have two weeks off. Oh, and they get a fall break. So they get five days off for a fall break in October. So parents, um, beware. If you work, you're gonna have to take a lot of leave. But I will say the teachers do deserve the time off. However, it's just a lot. So anyways, I just wanted to share my thoughts on why you should not move to Bernie if you're thinking about moving here. They're not really that big of a deal. You can still live in Bernie, you drive to San Antonio to eat. You can go to Northside School if you want. Just kidding. But uh, I thought that I had to get it out to you because I lied on my first video there are some cons about Bernie, Texas. So that's it. If you have any other questions about Bernie, Texas, feel free to call, text, or email me. Thanks for watching another episode of Serving San Antonio. I'm Christine Johnson with Fathom Realty. I'll see you next time.